Hello. The unseasonable October warmth is going to continue across some parts of Europe through the course of the weekend, particularly towards the west. So high pressure holding on through central Europe. The winds rotating around that, drawing in warm air from North Africa across Portugal, Spain and up towards Ireland and the UK as well. Pretty wet across parts of Scotland this weekend. And we've got this area of low pressure bringing windier, wetter weather across parts of Finland, Towards Moscow, for instance, it's going to be quite breezy too. But to the south of that, much of Turkey and Greece looking dry, settled, fairly light winds, lots of warm sunshine, but particularly warm weather holding on for Portugal and Spain. Some places up to 13 degrees above average through Saturday into Sunday. There's that wet weather across Scotland. We've got more snow showers packing into the higher ground of Norway as well. So cooler conditions, a drop in temperature behind this band of rain you can see here, making its way south across Germany, Poland as well as we head through into Sunday. But we're keeping the heat further west across France, northern parts of Italy, stretching towards Spain and into Portugal as well, Lisbon at around 31 Celsius. So the outlook then for the next five days or so, London and Paris both pretty warm, but into the middle part of next week, we'll see a breakdown in the warmth as showers arrive and the temperature drops as well. But Madrid and Rome looking sunny and dry. Further east for Berlin, then a colder spell of weather with the arrival of some rain through the course of the weekend. Hello. The weather across North America is looking warm in the west and cooler in the east. That change in air mass marked by this frontal system, which is pushing its way eastwards. We've also got Tropical Storm Philippe, which is moving close to Bermuda on Friday and then heading its way further north, are likely to affect parts of Nova Scotia, New England and Maine as we head through Saturday night and on into Sunday as well. So some wet and some windy weather here towards the northeast. Could be some flash flooding across parts of Pennsylvania, Connecticut, New York State, for instance, as well. Some brisk winds into much of eastern Canada. Meanwhile, further west, we've got a frontal system pushing in across Alaska. Much of British Columbia actually looking dry and pretty warm in the south. Vancouver, 71 Fahrenheit there. And the weather really warming up around the west coast. Washington State, Oregon, California and Nevada as well. So temperatures above average by several degrees, in fact, as we head through the course of the weekend. Lots of sunny and dry weather for the likes of Calgary, Los Angeles, for instance, as well. But a different picture towards the northeast. Wet, windy weather for Montreal, Ottawa, New York, for instance, as well. Strongest winds probably for western parts of Nova Scotia. To the south of that system, though, a drier picture across the Appalachians, down towards the Gulf states as well. But still some showers around, particularly down towards Florida. So here's the outlook, then New York turning colder with the arrival of some heavy showers. Bye bye. Hello there. Some real contrast in temperature across different parts of South America as we've seen for several days now. Very hot through parts of the Amazon basin. Colder conditions though now developing further south down towards northern Argentina and into Paraguay as well. All down to the fact that we've got this weather system here, this frontal system, producing some really heavy rain, in fact, across some southern parts of Brazil. Now to the far south, much colder air in place down towards Patagonia. It's going to be particularly windy and unsettled uh, over the next few days there. But heavy showers still continuing for Colombia, Venezuela too, drier through central parts of Brazil, but further south, more showers cropping up on Saturday for the likes of Brasilia, Rio de Janeiro as well. To the south of that system, a bit drier for southern Uruguay, central Argentina, but some heavy rain and mountain snow into southern parts of Chile. So for the next few days, Sao Paulo still looking pretty wet and unsettled. Looks like eventually things turn drier there into the middle of next week though. Now for Mexico, we've got some heavy rain around both the west and the east coast at the moment. Small chance that that rain could develop into a tropical storm out in the eastern Pacific. As we head through the Caribbean, scattered heavy showers for Cuba, Jamaica, towards Hispaniola as well, but a bit drier for Puerto Rico towards the Lesser Antilles too. But plenty of showers generally across the region. A few drier days though to come for Havana this weekend. Bye-bye. Hello there. We're seeing the unseasonable warmth continuing across the far northwest of Africa, particularly for parts of Morocco and Western Sahara too. Slightly cooler conditions as we head further east into Libya. This area of cloud here is producing a few heavy showers, particularly towards the south, and some gusty winds for parts of Libya, Egypt, Sudan, into Chad as well. A few showers around the Gulf of Guinea, but not particularly heavy for the time of year. Lots of warm weather for central and southern Africa in particular, but down towards South Africa and into Cape Town, slightly cooler 
cooler. We've got a few showers perhaps around the south coast, but they will fade away later on in the weekend. So the outlook over the next five days or so, then Cape Town turning a little bit warmer. Plenty of sunshine around there. Warm weather for Dakar, Johannesburg and Nairobi all looking fairly dry and settled so nothing too much to report there in Cairo the winds are going to be easing as we head into next week but a bit of patchy cloud around through the weekend there Marrakesh though still very hot temperatures in the high 30s now heading across the Middle East then a bit of a, a weak Shamal wind picking up from the northwest most places fine settled and dry temperatures around the 40 degree mark it's been very hot across Oman and Iran as well but those temperatures are going to start to come down a little bit through Saturday and into Sunday too so here's the chart for the next five days or so fine and settled for most turning a little bit cooler than it has been though for Dubai bye bye hello after the recent devastating flooding that we've seen in Sikkim, things are drying up a little bit there, but we've still got more rain accumulating over the next five days or so. It's going to be more focused across Bangladesh, but also in the far northeast of India, up towards Assam and Meghalaya as well. Also, Myanmar seeing some very wet weather just piling in there off the Bay of Bengal. So, low pressure drifting northwards. We've also got southwesterly winds ploughing in some heavy showers across parts of southern Sri Lanka. But a lot of dry weather for southern parts of mainland India, up towards the far north as well. And across Pakistan, it is looking generally dry and settled. A bit cooler than it has been in two central parts of Asia. We've got some heavy rain just starting to push into parts of Kazakhstan. Turkmenistan as well. Sunshine for much of Afghanistan. A few wintry showers over the highest ground of Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan and across Nepal as well. One or two showers down the west coast of India. Mali drier than it has been over recent days. The rain just pushing a bit further towards the south and east. Still continuing for Colombo though. Some heavy showers and thunderstorms there for Sri Lanka. And some heavy showers across Bangladesh but they will start to ease I think as we head on into next week. So Mumbai looking dry and sunny too. Colombo will keep with the showers and thunderstorms, probably not quite as heavy as they have been though. Chennai, bit of rain over the next couple of days, but drier from Tuesday onwards. Bye for now. Hello. Typhoon Koi Yu passed across the far south of Taiwan Wednesday night, bringing very high winds and heavy rainfall. That system is now weakening, but it's still around. You can see it here on the satellite image, pushing its way through the South China Sea. And we're going to see that very wet and windy weather arriving across parts of southeast China. Guangdong, close to Hong Kong, seeing the strong winds, certainly not as heavy uh, or as active as it has been. And further north, also this area of rain and strong winds just to the south of Shanghai. But some drier weather across much of Japan, just one or two showers before things turn increasingly unsettled later in the weekend. Some heavy rain for much of Thailand towards Myanmar into northern parts of Indonesia, but drier further south across Sumatra into Java as well. Now the outlook over the next five days or so for Shanghai, a bit of heavy rain, but looking drier and warmer into next week. And Hanoi should lose the wet weather by around about Monday too. Across Australia then, dry and warm for much of Western Australia. Temperatures really on the rise for Perth, Exmouth as well. Cooler further east, but not quite as chilly for Sunday as it was on Saturday for the likes of Melbourne, for instance. One or two showers for parts of the Northern Territory into Queensland as well. And across the Tasman Sea, low pressure is pushing northwards for New Zealand. So quite wet and windy for the North Island, drier for the South Island. Things look like they'll warm up a touch in Auckland though as we head through next week. Bye-bye.